Hello everyone, it's Robin here and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a plan with me in my classic vertical happy planner. She is all ready for spooky season and we are going to be calling in our inner witch because I am excited to use the I put a spell on you kit from my Etsy shop at Oh Hello Robin and it is filled with all kinds of fun witchy vibes. Oh, I'm so excited to use that. So you know what, let's get started and let the magic happen. Today we are planning for the week of October 9th through the 15th and I am so excited to use this I Put a Spell on You kit from my Etsy shop. Look at all these witch vibes. I love all of the purples with the golden stars going on, the potion bottles, and I just think this is going to be a lot of fun. I pulled in some solid boxes that blend with it. These are the cauldron boxes, so it's kind of a... A, a, a very dark gray color, not quite black, but it goes real well with this, as well as the potion and harvest. This harvest color is blending with all of the Halloween collections, but I think we're gonna have fun with these. I'm also pulling in two skinny washies. I used this black one, I think I used this last week. It has some gold stars in it, which is really pretty. But when I was picking that up, I saw this purple one, and this purple one has some like rose gold, kind of sparkles in it, check it out. I love the sparkle in this lavender. Look at that, isn't that cool? And I think this is going to maybe work really well with this. So I think we might end up pulling this in. So let's get started. So I'm using the Seasonal Whimsy Planner, which I absolutely love. And on a few of the weeks, there will be decor to match the season. This one has a flower with a couple of spiders going on. I think this will work really well with this witch idea because there are some spiders on here as well. So we're gonna use that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with this washi. I like to give a place for some things to land and I'm just gonna go ahead and line it up right across the bottom here. That color is so pretty. And we're just gonna tear it off right at the edges. And I'm gonna go ahead and line the bottom of this one up as well. Okay, so I feel like we have a nice place to start. Before we get to our boxes and you know, the function of the matter, I wanna go ahead and place this house here. Look at that witch house. She's got some ghosts coming out of it as well as a graveyard in front. I think it's super cool. And it's a larger sticker, so I wanna go ahead and place it right down here in the corner because this is where our witch lives. Kind of hanging out in our planner right here. Love it. Yes, just hanging out right there. Like it, like that a lot. And um, I have a quote here. I put a spell on you. I wonder if it'll fit down here. I was thinking of putting it here. Um, I was also considering putting it to the side here, but I think I want it right down here. Let's see if I could fit this in with the witch, just like so. Okay, so there we have our witch. I like the addition of the purple with this. We're gonna bring some more of this cauldron color in, I think, but uh, for now, I think that looks great. Let's go ahead and cap the top of this off though. Look at that. And we'll just kind of give it a little place to live just like so. Cool, yeah, look at that, so spooky. I wanna pull in these strips down here. So they are three inches wide and they're the potion bottles. I wanna give it a little place to sit. So I'm gonna pull in this washi again. I'm gonna go under the line since I did this because I do wanna put a box on top of them also. And I'm gonna go across the side here. I may end up pulling this part up, but we'll see. We'll see as we go. We're just gonna go with this for now and see how we like it. It's easy to pull up the washi. It's hard to always add the washi. So we'll just go with this for now and see how we like it. And then uh, pull these strips up. Love this, super cute. And I'm just gonna kind of set it right here on the shelf. Look at that. I'm gonna move it over just a bit, just a touch. There we go, so it doesn't go over 
that other edge. There we go. Oh yeah, that looks cool. I'm gonna put the other set, I think right here. These strips are really fun to play with and uh, I could go in the middle. Uh, now what do I do? Kind of like the middle now. Which way, which way do I go? Well, let me go ahead and do what I was going to do and then we'll see. So I have these squares and there's two squares on this deco sheet and I wanna put this right in the center of this and use this as my box for Monday slash Tuesday like so that looks really cute and then this one with the stars I'll use here so I could go this way right in the center and build it up like that or it would be right I kind of like this you know we're just gonna go with it changing of the plans there we go cute so I have some other star boxes that I'll probably pull into this other side to pull this over but I think so far I like it. Now in my planner, I like to have boxes for days, but I also like to have checklists. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. And I do wanna decorate the sidebar. So maybe I'll do that while I'm contemplating how I wanna fill in the rest of these because I really wanna play with this, which is broom here. I'm gonna let it interact with this over here that's already here, right? Look at that. So we're gonna set this like it's leaning up against the side here. Yes, with the spider and the flower, love it. And let's just pull the whole witch situation down the side. Let's put her hat up here. Let me pull this so I can see where it's gonna go, kind of uh, going around the October a bit. Yes. We also have some stars because it's magic. We can put those under. We have more spiders. Oh, this cauldron. Let's do this. See, I'm putting all my decor here on the side, <laughs> but the cauldron seems to, I mean, I could put my cauldron here too. Look. Oh, that would be cute. Or I could put it here. That would be cute. I was thinking here. That would also be cute. I kind of like it here. And uh, tell you why. So when I'm putting in my boxes, there's three sections for each day. So I like to have some kind of a box situation and some lines or checklists, but uh, decor can go in the other one. And I think it'd be too crowded down here. Plus this is already filled with decor, but look, it's like, it's like she lives here because it's the witch's house. <laughs> I'm having fun with this. I'm going to go ahead and put in some lines while I'm contemplating my boxes. I have my stencil here from Happy Planner and I have a gray gel pen, which I've been enjoying using for these lines. Um, I think I'm going to put five or six lines each day. So let's go ahead and get this started. There we go, we have some great functions started. Okay, I like this. I have my functional script one sheet, which has the to-dos, todays, and important. And I'm gonna go ahead and put, um, I think we're gonna, we have a lot of todays here. So I'm gonna do a lot of todays. Um, kind of as the header for each one. We're just gonna kind of set it right up here at the top. Okay, we have those done we have some action happening. Let's do a few more boxes and some more of these fun decor elements. I'm gonna pull in some of these charcoal boxes to add that color in here. So I wanna also add some of these decorative boxes. Let's start here, I like this size. This size is the same as this one here. So let's put this one down here. I'm playing a balancing act here. And 
I think I'm going to use this yellow one. I'm going to put a yellow one on both sides. So let's put the yellow one here. And I need to bring the charcoal. It's not charcoal. I'm sorry. The cauldron boxes. I should know. It's my witch's thing, right? Let's bring the cauldron right here. And let's go ahead and bring another cauldron right here so that we balance it on both sides of the page or the spread. And let's bring this decorative yellow across over here. And then each side has all the colors and all the designs. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. We need a little decor going on, which we're gonna do because we have potion bottles and I'm really excited about these. Let's go ahead and place this really cool potion bottle on top of this box. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim the bottom white edge so it sits right on the box. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And let's take this one and trim this little white edge right there. It has a little part of the bottle at the bottom too, so it's fine. And that's gonna go a little bit. So I'm gonna trim it all the way to where the liquid is because that still also looks like the bottom of the bottle. There we go. And we're gonna put this potion bottle right here on this guy. Uh, yes, that's really cute. And I think I want to kind of put these floating in my sidebar. This one says Magic Night, which I think looks cool here. I'm gonna have to move those stars. It's all good. Can either go there. I could actually put the stars up higher. Let's do that. Let me fit the stars. Or I could put the stars right here. Uh, that looks good too. Okay, let's put my hat back. <laughs> let's get this witch's hat back. I like how it wraps up around that October. We could put some of the spiders over here. Uh, that's creepy. Let's maybe move this up since I moved the other. We will get there. There we go. And now let's get this spider action going on. Yes, that is not creepy or anything, which is what fun. Halloween fun stuff is. Move her up just a tiny bit more. Um, <laughs> that's really fun. We have some pumpkins here. Let's play with these guys. Let's put them down here. Just like so. I'm going to trim this side off right here. Okay. Uh, I'm enjoying this. I have a potion bottle, a pumpkin, and some more of these. Let's bring this yellow over here where it says note. And I have a this week sticker on my functional script too. Let's fit that in there. We'll do a top three for the week. So we could go one, two, three. One, two, three. We'll do it like that. Let's me move this down just a touch. I know what I'll do. There's, I'm gonna, I was trying to avoid whiting this note out, but we're just gonna white it out a little bit. Right there. I'm gonna put this string here to give it kind of a separation since we did that through the rest of it. Okay. Now that I went ahead and did this, I'm just going to put a this week here so that it blends with the rest of it. And I'm going to use these cauldron bullet points to put three bullet points down. One, 
two, and three. Just for like the three main things. Okay, that looks cool. I'm gonna take this little strip here and kind of just put this up here to give it a little header. I'm gonna leave this space so that it has some air, but I'm gonna give each of these uh, boxes a bit of a header space. Fills it out a little bit. Gives me another place to write something. But I don't want to overcrowd it too much either. So we'll just go like so. Okay, uh, this looks spooky fun. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna use this. Where am I gonna put this? I really need to put this here. Too much. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put it down here to match that. Yes. Just kind of put it at the bottom. I'm gonna let it go off the side a little bit. Whoops, cut the page. <laughs> and now we're done. Let's get the planner. Okay, this is super fun. My I put a spell on you spread filled with all of the magical witch vibes and potions. I love it. I love it. I love these uh, purple potion colors together with the cauldron and this harvest yellow color is really gorgeous. So I used pretty much the whole kit from I put a spell on you from the, de the decorative uh, elements as well as the boxes and some of the cauldron so that's great and I use some of my functional script stickers which is always fun and handy I am looking forward to using my planner next week what are you looking forward to next week I would love to hear from you down in the comments below thank you all so much for joining me I hope you have a spooky week and I will see you in my next video bye